Hello, welcome back to 24 Days of Bar. I've got a short core class that is all about the deep sass. You probably won't break a sweat in this one, but you will definitely feel the fire. So enjoy and I'll see you on the mat. Starting cross-legged, we'll place the hands behind the head and find some rotation through your spine. If it feels better, maybe come to kneeling, whatever helps you feel more balanced. Gently press the head into the hands and move through the music as you take your twist side to side. So you want to feel like, you know those clowns at the festivals with the open mouth? And you throw a ball inside or you shoot water in them? <laughs> so your bottom half completely planted. You're a statue down the bottom. Top half, rotation. If you want to open your mouth nice and wide to get into the spirit. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. Do what you gotta do. Last one. Cool, let's sit on our booty now and face the side of the mat. Stretching your arms out long in front of you, finding our C-spine as we roll back. So inhale to prepare and pause, exhale to move. So inhale, exhale, roll back. Big breath in. Exhale to lift. Again, let's just move through the music. Wake up through that core. Rectus abdominis, your six pack muscles. Doesn't matter if you can see them or not, really who cares? We just want them to be strong internally so that we can do all the things that we love to do. Like Pilates, but also like running, like picking up your kids if you have any. Just all the things. Core strength, easy power. Beautiful. Now, if you want to take it deeper, you're gonna pull one elbow back and sit up. Lift, exhale, roll back and lift and lift let's go four four only three more because i know this one can be a bit intense two and last one shuffle your booty forwards feet planted into the floor roll all the way down, take your time. You hit the mat in four and three. Interlace the hands behind the head, two and one. Gently drop the chin. Imagine you're holding a mandarin underneath your chin. Elbows slightly lift, tiny ab curls. Up for two, down for two. So you're barely skimming those fingers off the mat. So we want to maintain a natural spine. So everybody's got curves in their spine. We want to aim to keep the spine the same shape the whole time as we uh, as we curl. So that, that kind of contradicted itself. But what I mean is with the lower back, as we lower the head, we don't want to let the, the lower back pop off the ground as that will relax and release the core, right? So 
So if you can, you want to maintain your natural curves. If you feel like your lower back pops off the ground and you need more support, then actively press your lower back into the floor and that might help you with your curls. Hold your next curl up, tiny, lift, lower, lift, lower. So you're just feeling those shoulder blades, detach, connect with the mat for three, two, hold it up, shoulder blades off the ground, stretch one arm, tap your thigh, back to the head, stretch other arm, tap the thigh, head. And if you want more, I really want you to squash your thigh, so press down, oh yeah, abs. She's on. Nice. Two more. And last one. Beautiful. Lower head, neck and shoulders. You can reach those hands down by your hips. Knee lift. Prop up onto your tippy toes. Take it slow. Keep that lower back same shape the whole time. Lower. And lower. Oop, little cramp there. And lower. If you want more, you're up in tabletop. Toe tap, lift, slower you go, more integrity you move with, stronger it'll feel. Four, three, relax your shoulders, two, And one, switching, and move, and move, moving from the hip bone, not the knees, four, Breathe. Two. And last one. Nice, both legs back to tabletop. From here, let's turn the feet out, turn the knees out, squeeze the heels together, toes will be pointing up on diagonal, so you're in a froggy shape here. Just stretch one leg, make it your right. Right stretch, squeeze it in. Left stretch, squeeze it in. Doesn't have to be full stretch. I want you to get that squeeze of the heels in and keep checking in with your lower back. You got this, four, and three, and two, both legs together, stretch. Take it slow, squeeze. It in, again, stretch. Modification, return to your single leg version. If you're in that modification, keep going. 
Repetition is the key to strength. If you're in the double leg version with me, stretch your legs, find your challenge point and point your toes. Slow, crease, cross, crease, cross. Keep it slow. Enjoy that deep fire. This is where you probably want to press your lower back into the floor if you have not already to give you more support. If you want, make it smoother. Switch, 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 switch. And if you really want to channel that balletic but energy even quicker. Switch, switch, switch. You've got this four and three and two and hold here. Just hold, squeeze the heels together, point the toes, hold. That's it. Breathe. If you need to, you bend the knees and you drop the heels a little lower, but you are holding strong. Four. Three. If you can, hands behind the head, lift your chest. Two. And if you can, hands above the head. Fifth. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, nice. Bring those knees into chest. Circle the legs. And reverse. Well done. That's it. It was over in a heartbeat, unfortunately. Maybe you'll just have to do it again if you still want more. <laughs> Place the feet onto the ground, stretch your left leg, cross your right leg over, lower back release. Yes, I got that crack. Oh, always feels good to feel that little pop. Unless you have a slip disc, then that's probably not a good time. Please look after your body. Do what feels right for you. You know your body better than anybody else. And switch over. Deep work is important. Once you get those solid foundations in and set yourself up for success, then the speed comes, the fire comes. It's easier to just go with the flow, but getting that foundational deep work in is important. And that goes for internally as well. We're not talking about exercise now, we're talking about your beliefs, what you think about yourself, what you think you're capable of, might be a good idea if you are doing this challenge in December. Whatever time actually is good to take some time today or this week, maybe journal and think about what is the deep work that you need to do. What are you saying to yourself what are you saying about yourself? What are you projecting? And does that align with where you want to go and who you want to be? Move your body. That's another little tip I'll give you. Move your body because that is one of the easiest ways to reset and shift your energy and frequencies to a higher state where you can then 
draw in the good stuff. Love it. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow to keep on going with the final few days of 24 days of bar. You're amazing. <laughs>